Okay, welcome back to my M1 Finance Portfolio for the week beginning 11-1-2020. And we are just below 1,000 air status, which will probably change Monday unless there's a significant drop in the stock market. Um, so we are up. Net cash flow was $902. So my market gains are $34 and I've earned $12 in dividends. God damn, that's a lot. For a $46 gain or a 9.26% return, which, I mean, you can't hate on a 9% return. So Mr. Hands Lazy 2 Fund is a Vanguard Total Stock Market, Vanguard Total Bond Market. This is meant to mirror a traditional portfolio. 60 40 stocks and bonds but we're up two dollars and 94 cents then we'll go to the uniballer that's up 9.09 percent total stock market total bond market total international market and we are at the bangkok bareback that is the total stock market small cap ETF for some extra juice Vanguard extended duration treasuries I'm going to get rid of that and Vanguard total bond market where this is the Dave Ramsey approach so return 7.79% it's 50% in the total stock market or total the S&P 500, Vanguard mid cap, Vanguard total stock market, and a little bit of small cap exposure. The Dutch oven, that's up 3.87%. And I'm gonna do something with these. I'm gonna get rid of them because I don't really like it because I mean, tech is overbought anyways, and it was just something as a placeholder I had set up in the beginning in uh, June. It was the closest thing to my actual portfolio, which is actually going to change soon because I'm getting out of overbought tech in my uh, <clears throat> IRA, and I'm going to switch that into a mid cap. I'm going to keep the healthcare and the growth. But I'm going to really double down on a mid cap because it's down for the year. Baba is doing well for me. I'm up in real life. I'm up $1,500 on that position. Bank of America is just a great dividend generator. So is this in the, in the utilities. And I got rid of that, actually. I got rid of that. And I got rid of that. The intrinsic value, that of course is down by 10.7%, but I mean, I think in New York's only at $24. I'm going to have to check that. I think the stock's higher than that. It's only, Bank of New York's down to $24. You start buying that like it's going out of style. Oh, that's just how much money's in there. All right, never mind. So I checked Bank in New York and it was $34 the other day. My first cream pie, that's still up 45%. And I started that in November. So of course we've had this major run up. There's a lot of tech in here. Bob is up 72% on that position. Tesla's up 174.1%. Apple's up 74%. Visa is down. Bank of America is of course down. JP Morgan's down, but overall, how long I think it'll return like this, I don't know. The point of this channel is just to see what investment style works best. This is not at all a reflection of my portfolio. I tell people that. They're like, oh, there's a lot of stuff that you have in there. On market. There's too much redundancy in here. So I'm going to have to change it. Fucking a hooker spit. 
I think I'm going to keep this one the way it is just to show you the tech isn't always going to be the best way to invest that it does get overbought. I do think tech is a solid investment. I just think it's overbought at this point. Total stock market. That's just a placeholder. And the side touch. Again, this is too similar to other ones. I'm gonna do something different with this in here. I got some ideas. This is the moderate. It's just a targeted date fund. This is probably the best thing for your average person, although Dave Ramsey advises against it. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Random one night saints. Literally used a random number generator to pick stocks, and this thing is up 16%. And this is just an example of a high dividend paying uh, portfolio. A lot of these were picked at random. I didn't do a lot of research on them. I would never buy a stock in that way, much like the random number generator, but still it's been able to generate a 12.98% return. I'd take that all day in real life. So, that's where we are for 11 1 2020. We would probably be re -christianed, uh, christened a thousand there tomorrow once uh, the M1 Finance takes the money out of my, takes my $30 out. So, all right. Um, appreciate it if you watched and you liked, like and subscribe. If not, uh, I don't know, leave me a hateful comment.